Nin explains the rules of Bandy. The object of the game is for your team to score more goals than the opposing team. To score a goal, a player must use their stick and shoot the ball into the goal. Bandy is a European game played with two teams of 16, with 11 players taking to the ice at any one time. A team must have at least 8 players on the ice at any given time. Hey Nin, this looks suspiciously like ice hockey, field hockey and soccer. Um, yep, that's pretty much exactly what Bandy is. If you take elements of field hockey, ice hockey and football, you get Bandy. The ice is roughly the same size as a football pitch, a maximum of 110 meters by 65 meters. Goals are 3.5 meters wide and 2.1 meters high, which is similar to field hockey, but is played on ice just like ice hockey. Surrounding the goals are the shooting circles, which form a 17 meter radius around the goals. These are the free stroke circles, which are 10 meters in diameter, and we'll talk more about those later. The game starts with a stroke off. Once a team has possession of the ball, they will try and move the ball towards the opposing goalkeeper and try and score. You can pass the ball directly between teammates, or skate and control the ball with either side of the stick, just like ice hockey. Unlike ice hockey, however, the stick is not curved sideways, so players have to be proficient in passing and shooting the ball from both the left and right sides of the stick. The idea is to set up in good position to be able to shoot the ball towards the goal. The opposing team will try and stop you by tackling. They are allowed to try and take the ball away from you and move the ball in the opposite direction so that they can score themselves. One major rule difference between ice hockey and bandy is that in bandy, forceful contact between players is strictly forbidden. There are varying degrees of punishment if you break this or any of the rules. Breaking the rules may result in a yellow card, which is a warning, a blue card, which means that the offending player has to serve a 5 or 10 minute penalty, or a red card, similar to football, and results in a player being ejected from the game. Another rule difference is that in bandy, the goalkeeper doesn't have a stick. He's the only person who is allowed to catch and throw the ball, and can only do that from his own goal circle. There are many other differences, but these are the main two you need to know about. The game is played in two 45 minute halves for a combined playing time of 90 minutes. In bad weather conditions, the referee can opt to play three 30 minute periods. High score at the end of time wins. That's basically the gist of it, but there's a few other things you'll need to understand before playing or going to a game. For example, free stroke. A free stroke is awarded to the other team if a player breaks one of the rules. Usually they are awarded for fouls, incorrect equipment, incorrect procedures, or the ball going out of play. The ball is either hit one meter away from the sidelines, or more commonly, from the free stroke circles depending on the infraction. Corner stroke. Very similar to the short corner in field hockey, this is awarded if a defender deliberately hits the ball behind their own goal line. The attacking team places the ball at the corner circle and the defending team can put their plays behind the goal line. The ball is hit into play and is usually shot towards the goal immediately. Penalty shot. If a defender intentionally fouls a player with a legitimate chance to score, a penalty shot will be awarded to the attacking team. The ball is placed on the ice at the penalty spot and just like ice hockey, it's one shot only. Any goals scored count towards the overall score. Substitution. There are unlimited substitutions in bandy, and they can be made at any time except during a corner stroke. All substitutions must be made within the designated area. Overtime and penalty shootout. If the game is tied after 90 minutes, usually two extra 10 minute periods are played to determine a winner. However, some games have the golden goal rule, where the next goal scored wins the game. For games where a winner must be determined, a penalty shootout may occur. Teams with the most goals after five players on each team shoots the ball, wins. If you're struggling to understand Bandy, try and watch my other videos on ice hockey, field hockey and football first, and hopefully this will all make sense to you. If you found this video at all helpful, please like, comment, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things, and good karma is very much appreciated. If you're also on Reddit, you can post this video and discuss it there, but in the meantime, enjoy Bandy.